Hello crochet artists! Today's project is another take to our previous ribbed cups. If you haven't made these types of cups before, please feel free to do so. I do have a whole list of tutorials using these types of cups. For this project, you will need a super fine or a fingering weight yarn. Or if you're in the Philippines, this yarn is called Indofil under the category 4 ply. We will also use a 3.5mm crochet hook, scissors, and a yarn needle. If you are new to this channel, hello, my name is Kath and I do crochet tutorials. You can follow me on Instagram as well as my Facebook page at What About Yarn. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe. Starting with a slip knot, we're going to work up a chain that will go from the underbust to the nipple. For my size, that is 32B, I will work 15 chains. Now, if you're of different size, please feel free to adjust the number of chains for the cups. Once you have your chains, we're going to work a double crochet into the fourth chain from the hook. And to do a double crochet, you're going to yarn over and insert the hook into the fourth chain. Grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops. And yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook and repeat that same stitch into each of the chains. At the end of the row, I have a total of 13 stitches. Now into the last stitch or in the last chain, we will work a double crochet. A chain of one and another double crochet or two double crochet back into the same stitch. This will be the increasing part of our cups. And after this, we will continue working on the opposite side of the row. Once you have that, we will work one double crochet in each of the stitch at the opposite side of our row. Here I have round 1, I have 14 double crochet on the other side, a chain of 1 and another 14 double crochet on the other side. Now for round number 2, we will continue with a chain of 3 and turn your work. Now on the next stitch or the second stitch, we're going to work up a front post double crochet. And what that is, is basically the same as a double crochet. The only difference is we're going to work around the post of the stitch, just like so. So to do a front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over and insert the hook into the post of the, in, of the next stitch. Now grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook, just like how you do a normal double crochet. Now on the next stitch, we're going to do a double crochet. And continue on the next stitch with a front post double crochet and on the next stitch again another double crochet. This will be the pattern that you will keep on repeating until you get to the center or the middle part of the round. So do that and meet me back later once you get there. When you're in the middle part, we're going to work a double crochet. A chain of one and another double crochet back into the middle part or the center chain one space. This is the pattern for the increasing every time we go to the middle part of each round. Now continue working the opposite stitches. For example, my first stitch here at the opposite side is a double crochet. So I will also work a double crochet in the next stitch. And my next stitch is a front post double crochet, so I will also work front post double crochet in the next stitch. So just keep on following the opposite stitch patterns until you get to the very end of the round. Now continue with round 3 with a chain of 3. Chain 3 will count as 1 stitch. Turn your work and from here we will do a back post double crochet stitch. Now what that is is basically the same as a front post double crochet but then we'll do it this time on the back side or the back part of the stitch. So yarn over and insert the hook into the post of the next stitch from the back 
just like so. Now grab the yarn and pull up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. Yarn over and pull through two loops and yarn over and pull through the last two loops on your hook. And that is a back post a double crochet. Now on the next stitch, we will do a double crochet. On the next stitch is again a back post double crochet stitch. And on the next stitch is again another double crochet stitch. This will be the pattern that keep that you will keep on repeating until you get to the center chain one space or the middle part. Once you get to the center, you're going to do a double crochet and a chain of one and another double crochet. That is our increasing, as I said previously, in the second round. And from here, continue working the opposite stitch as what we did in the other side of our cup. So the next stitch here is a back post double crochet. The next stitch is a double crochet. Continue working or following the stitch patterns as the other side until you finish the round, the end of round three. End of round number three. Continue with round two and round three, repeating that two rows, starting with round two, which is a chain of three, front post double crochet and double crochet. Continue that until you get to the center chain one space. On the center chain one space, you will do the increases and repeat the opposite stitch pattern for the other side of the cup and end that with a chain of three. Following the round number three, continue with a back post double crochet and double crochet. Repeat until you get to the center chain one space. Do the increases until you get to the end of the round. So you're going to repeat round two and round three until the cup will perfectly fit the breast sideways where the center of the cup will go from the nipple. And then as you go increasing the cups, the tip of the of your cup will go into the center of the breasts like so here i have 11 rows in total for my size and i also have here my other cup as well now when you make your second cup and especially if you stopped or end up in the upper part of the cup what you're going to do is you're going to cut the yarn and fasten off and we're going to transfer the yarn or join the yarn into the first stitch of the lower part of the top and from there we will continue working the side stitches or the side pattern which is the single crochet. But if this is your first cup then you can just continue following the pattern as is. So since this is my second cup I'm just going to cut the yarn and transfer it in the lower part of my cup. Continue with a chain of one and chain one doesn't count as a stitch. And from here, we will continue working along the lower part of the cup. Now on the first row, we're going to do two single crochet as well as for each of the row across. When you get to the end of the row, we're going to continue with as many chains as we need until the length of the chain is enough to go around our neck so that we can create our straps. For my size, I will do a total of 100 chains. Now, without twisting the chains, you're going to work a single crochet into the second chain from the hook as well as for the rest of the chains until you get to the end of the row. And once you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain one. Chain one doesn't count as a stitch and work a single crochet back into the row across until you get to the end. Chain one and again, repeat that same pattern until you have a total of 10 rows. This is for my size. Now, this is a personal preference. You're just going to keep on working a row of single crochet until the cup will perfectly fit your breast. When you have both of your cups, we're going to connect both pieces together using a row of single crochet starting at the lower left corner of the cup. 
So attach your yarn into the first stitch at the lower left corner of the top and work one single crochet in each of the row of single crochet. You will also work one single crochet in each of the ribbing row across. Now when you get to this part, just make sure that your stitches will be inserted in between the two stitches, just like so. One single crochet into the center chain one space. Now we're going to connect both cups by working one single crochet as well at the center chain one space in the other cup. Continue with one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the end of the second cup and when you get there you're going to chain one, turn your work and then work again another row of single crochet in each stitch across. Next, chain three, chain three here counts as one double crochet. Turn your work. Now on the same stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. That means we have two stitches in one stitch. Now on the next stitch, we're going to work one double crochet. And on the next stitch, two double crochet. So this will be the pattern that you will repeat for the rest of the stitches. Next, one double crochet and then two double crochet on the next stitch. Keep on working this pattern until you get to the end of the row. End of the row. Now continue with row number three, starting with a chain of three. Chain three here will count as one double crochet. Turn your work. And on the next stitch, and for each of the stitches, we're going to work one double crochet each. When you get to the end, chain three and turn your work. Continue. With row number four, where you will just repeat the pattern for row number three, working one double crochet in each stitch until you have a total of six rows for the lower part. I now have six rows in total. This is including the single crochet row at the beginning. Now from here, we will work the side straps. So connect your yarn into the first single crochet stitch of the cup. And from there, we're going to chain as many chains as we need for us to be able to work the wrap or the straps in the back side. Without twisting the chains, single crochet in the second chain from the hook as well as for the rest of the chains. At the end, you're going to skip the opposite single crochet and we're going to slip stitch twice into the next two single crochet. So that is one and two. Now turn your work and continue with one single crochet in each of the stitches. When you get to the end, you're going to chain one Turn your work and again work a row of single crochet across and repeat the same procedure. You're going to skip the opposite single crochet and slip stitch twice. From there, you will work again another row of single crochet, chain one and repeat. Continue repeating this pattern until we have a total of five rows or it depends. It totally depends on how many rows you prefer for these straps. You will do the same thing for the other cup as well. And finally, finish it all off by weaving all of the ends. This marks the end of this tutorial. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them down below and I will do my best to answer them. Join this week's giveaway by answering the question below. 
If you will make this top, please don't forget to tag me on social media at What About Yarn. I would really love to feature your works. Check out the description box below for all the additional details for this top. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will not miss any single video. Thank you so much guys for watching and as always, have a good day. I'll see you on the next video.